Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use PowerShell uh, command line to reset a uh, user password based on Office 365 tenant. So in help desk jobs from my experience you get a lot of tickets uh, every day to just basically reset user password, email password, uh, those are located on an Office 365 tenant and uh, one of the ways that you use is you go to a browser and you log into the portal which is portal.microsoft.com it asks you to you enter the username and the password for your tenant since I'm already logged in I'm not I didn't get prompted for it and then you go to the users active users locate the user and then hit reset password and then you enter that password for them and then you reset the password uh, I just wanted to show you an alternate which is using PowerShell uh, which might save time for you if you are good enough or you know just wanted to share that with you if you wanna see if you can use that in your day-to-day -day smaller task so yeah let's get started and I'm gonna uh, launch my PowerShell on the computer and one thing I wanted to mention is you need to install the MS service uh, to your PowerShell before you can even do anything. So definitely want to run this command install module ms onlines I think so it's running since I already have it it didn't do anything uh, for you it might ask you to hit yes install it it's going to do all the installation and you should be ready by just hitting this command again and if it does not return any error message that means it's there on your PowerShell now the f after installing the services you want to be able to connect or you need to connect to your tenant this GUI so to connect you simply use the verb connect uh, connect to MS all service so Microsoft calls this 365 dashboard or the service as MS all service so you hit connect MS all service it's gonna prompt you for your username and that is my tenant uh, which is what I'm logged in already gonna ask me for the password And if you have two-factor setup or uh, MFA, the third thing is gonna it's gonna prompt you to enter the code, or approve any notification from your uh, two-factor application on the phone. Since I have disabled that for for you know tutorial, please uh, do not do that for you. Uh, make sure you have two-factor enabled. Uh, moving ahead, I should be connected to my tenant now. Just to verify, I'm gonna issue this simple command which will show me all the user accounts I'm just using tab but I'm just gonna type it get MSL users so always remember PowerShell all the commands will start with a verb so in this case I wanna get all the users in my tenant so I'm gonna do that and you can see it's listing all the users with the license display name and that's what basically I have so that way I am 100% sure that I'm connected to the right tenant before resetting the password. Now in order to reset the password the command you're going to use is simply set ms all so always it's going to be ms all users sorry just user and then password so as you can see if I when I hit tab it automatically found the command which is good we can use display name or sorry user principal name user principal name basically means the email account and in this tutorial I'm gonna be using this account which has domain to it I'm gonna add that it's a good idea to put them in uh, double quotes uh, you don't have to you can but uh, I just like doing it so that is that and now this is another keyword which is new new password so basically this is the parameter you need to specify if you have a password in mind a specific password 
so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, provide that new password let's call it new at password at one two three and uh, one more thing that I wanted to mention is if this command if I hit enter now the password will be set for this email or this account however when I log in it's gonna ask me to create a brand new password so basically it's gonna treat this password as a temporary password let me just go ahead and show you so I'm gonna hit enter here and that's successful so I'm gonna open up a new private window here on my Chrome browser go to portal.office.com that's how you log into your office account enter the email so the email is test the password we set it to is this one here so just copy pasting it and see this is what I meant that was the password however it's asking user to create a brand new one so this this can be used when user don't want to send you their personal password they just want you to set uh, to it to something uh, temporarily so that they can set it by themselves so that's that's the command you're gonna use however if you want to change it to something and you don't want user to to set a new password by themselves or you don't want to get prompted with this window uh, when you try logging in then the command you you're gonna add one more parameter which is dash and uh, that would be let's see force yes force change password and we will set that to false what this is gonna do is it will not force user to change their password so let me go ahead and just close this out we will open the tab private window one more time go to portal dot office dot com it's gonna ask me for the username or the email I'm gonna use where is it test dot ca enter that hit continue password would be this one here paste sign in and voila there was no force uh, or any prompt to change the password to something new it was simply changing the password to that and that that's it so that's uh, that's one of the way you can use to reset the password uh, and uh, make different changes to it